The biggest trade of the entire season so far in the NBA has just taken place, and that is Pascal Siakam going all the way to the Indiana Pacers. Now, yes, this was a rumored trade for a while now, and it was pretty inevitable that it would end up happening, but it did just finally go down, and I do have a few thoughts and opinions on this trade that might differ from a few other people. So if you want to hear them, in my opinion, what I think about this trade, watch the video all the way through, and hit the like button and subscribe button if you do like it at any point. But without further ado, let's just get right into this video. So really, the first thing that I want to get into is going to be the package itself, which is a Toronto Raptors received Bruce Brown, Jordan Noir, three first round picks, and Kyra Lewis Jr., while the Indiana Pacers would get Pascal Siakam and a second rounder from the New Orleans Pelicans. Now, this trade package on the face of it doesn't seem too bad for either side at all, and I think both sides did kind of get what they want out of it. And to kind of dive a little bit deeper into it, let's kind of go into the Toronto Raptors side of things. The Toronto Raptors, the reason they would do this is because, I mean, they got an absolute haul of draft picks. They needed their team that's trying to rebuild. Build. They're not in a huge market. Not a lot of free agents are going to want to go to Toronto. They're not going to want to leave America. So they kind of have to build through trades and through drafts. And that is exactly what the Toronto Raptors are trying to do. They got two young guys in RJ Barrett and uh, Emmanuel quickly earlier in this trade season. And now they trade Pascal Siakam for a shit ton of draft capital. So that way they can now have a lot of picks in this year's draft coming up and in future drafts to come as well. And then on top of that, guys like Bruce Brown is someone they're probably going to swap or flip very soon. I doubt he even ever puts on a Toronto Raptors uniform. He just doesn't fit their timeline or what they're trying to do. So I'm sure Bruce Brown will also be flipped for maybe another first or a few seconds or a young guy. No telling what you can get for Bruce Brown. And then also three first round picks is always going to be great to see. Jordan Awar is a very solid role player. He's only 25 years old, so he still does have a little bit of room for improvement and can legitimately become a very solid role player for them going into the future. And then a guy like Kyra Lewis Jr. I think he was just thrown in there for cap filler. As a Pelicans fan, Kyra Lewis Jr. is not it, okay? He He's a whiff. We had to get rid of a second just to get rid of his contract for money. And yeah, it's he's just not a great player. Hopefully he can develop in Toronto. I doubt it, but maybe he'll get more playing time if Toronto starts to lose more games later on in the season. And then kind of going into the Indiana Pacers side of things, why I think they wanted to do it for a few pretty obvious reasons. Obviously the Pacers want to win. Miles Turner said he wanted to win. Tyrese Halliburton hasn't been on a winning playoff level team literally in his entire career, despite him being a very good player for a few years now. And I think they are finally going after that and they legitimately formed a very very formidable big three in Tyrese Halliburton, Pascal Siakam, and Miles Turner. Now it's debatable whether you can say Miles Turner is a big three level player but I do think Miles Turner is a extremely extremely solid player and definitely an above average center and at his peak can probably play at an all-star level especially if he can stay healthy. I just think overall this is a very very solid team and I think they're going to fit together very well because what a lot of teams do when they make trades like this they just go for star talent big names and they they don't give a damn about how it fits, but I do think the Indiana Pacers have a very solid fit because Halliburton is one of the best scorer and passers in the entire NBA, and with his passing ability, going off of pick and rolls with Miles Turner and Pascal Siakam, both bigs who can spread the floor and run the pick and roll effectively, is going to be extremely, extremely hard to guard, and they're just going to be extremely, extremely good, and teams are going to struggle that have traditional bigs, like a guy like Jonas Valanciunas, for example, is going to struggle to guard this team because they're so much, they're not huge bigs, and they're more agile and fast bigs, and it's just going to be kind of hard to guard them on the perimeter at all times, and they're really going to be able to spread out defenses very, very well, especially when you take into the fact that they really didn't have to trade anyone that impactful off their team. Yes, Bruce Brown is a good player for them, and he was a pretty big piece of their rotation, but he is currently injured anyway, so he hasn't been in the rotation, and that is the only guy they got rid of, and that's something that Pascal Siakam's production should be able to very easily replace and then even add some more on top of that, so they're really not losing anything when it comes to talent or player production-wise at all in this trade. And then another huge thing for me is the fact that the team didn't really have to trade, like I said, Buddy Heald or any other guys like that, which means this team is going to be even better. They're probably going to be one of the best floor spacing teams in the entire NBA, because when you have a starting five, that's probably going to look a little something like this when they're fully healthy. Tyrese Halliburton, Buddy Heald, Aaron Naismith, Pascal Siakam, and Miles Turner, that's going to be extremely, extremely hard to guard because all five of those guys can shoot the three very effectively. And if you don't know who Aaron Naismith is, he has been having kind of a resurgence of his career with the Pacers, and he has been very, very solid for them. And then on top of that, you're keeping all your young guys and all your other guys off the bench, which is extremely impressive to trade for a star level guy like Siakam and not have to get rid of basically any young guys or any vital rotational guys is extremely, extremely impressive as they're able to keep Jarese Walker. They're able to keep all their rookies from this year. They're able to keep Benedict Matherin. They're able to keep Aaron Nimhard. They also still have Jalen Smith and they have a whole bunch of other guys off this team, Isaiah Jackson, and they didn't have to get rid of a single one of them. And that is extremely 
extremely, extremely impressive because not even their lower end young guys, like I said, Isaiah Jackson, they even were able to get. Those would have been guys you expect them to be able to get as if you're for the Raptors, but they were able to hold on to all of them. They were able to get Siakam and give up almost nothing when it comes to player and talent. And they're basically just having the same roster they once had, but adding Siakam to it. So I think for sure that the Pacers are one of the better teams in the East right now. And I think they're going to compete with basically anyone. Now, do I think they're going to win a finals? Probably not. Maybe at their peak, they can make it to the Eastern Conference Finals. But no, I don't think they're going to be able to compete actually in the finals. But I do think this team's going to fit very well together. I think this might be one of the better Indiana teams we've seen in a very, very long time since like the Paul George days. And I think it's going to be very hard for anyone to eliminate them in a four game series. And overall, who I think won, although I think both sides definitely benefit from this trade and they got what they wanted out of it. The Toronto Raptors got draft capital and future development and future pieces going forward, while the Indiana Pacers are trying to win right now and they got their guy, they got their star to pair around with Turner and Halliburton. But overall, I do think that the Pacers are going to end up winning this trade because, like I said, they basically gave up no real assets to their team when it comes to players. And yes, they got rid of three first round picks, but I think a few of those aren't theirs and the ones that are them should be fair high first round picks because they should be good high level playoff teams assuming they stay healthy so I do think the Pacers are going to end up coming out on top of this I just think overall they were able to get a very very nice haul for a guy like Siakam and didn't have to give up too much either I just think both sides did benefit and overall I think this was a very very good trade but unfortunately, guys, that's my first video. Comment below. Do you agree with me? Do you think the Toronto Raptors won? Do you think the Pacers won? Do you think they both won? Are any your thoughts in the comment section below? If you like point, hit the like button and subscribe button. It means the absolute word to me. And I hope you have a blessed day because I have a blessed day. So you need to have a blessed day. All glory to God. See you next video. Goodbye. Boo. Blah.